。嗯，好，开始背诵。呃、uh, ，Lesson One: A Private Conversation. Why do Why did the people Why did the writer complain to the people behind it? Last week I went to a theater. I had very good seats. The play was very interesting. I did not enjoy it. A young man and a young woman were sitting behind me. They were talking loudly. I got very angry. I turned around and looked at the man and the woman angrily. They did not pay any attention. In the end, I could not bear. I turned around again. I can't hear a word. I said angrily. It's none of your business. The young man said rudely. This is a private conversation. A、uh, lesson two: breakfast or lunch. It was Sunday.、Uh, why were the writers and surprised? It was Sunday. I never get up early on Sundays. I sometimes stay in bed until lunchtime. Last Sunday, I got up very late. I looked out of the window. It was dark outside. What a day! I thought it's raining again. Just then, the telephone rang. It was my aunt Lucy. I've just arrived by train, she said. I'm coming to see you. But I'm still having breakfast. I said. What are you doing? She asked. I'm having breakfast. I repeated. Dear me, she said. You always get up so late. It's one o'clock. Lesson three. Please send me a card. How many cards did the writer send? Postcards always spoil my holidays. Last summer, I went to Italy. I visited museums. I visited museums and sat in public garden. A friendly winter taught me a few words of Italian. Then he lent me a book. I read a few lines, but I did not understand a word. Every day I thought about postcards. My holidays passed quickly, but I did not send cards to my friends. On the last day, I made big decision. I got up early and bought thirty-seven cards. I spent a whole day in my room, but I did not send cards to、uh, write a single card. On lesson four, an exciting treat. Why is Tim finding this trip exciting? I have just received a letter from my brother Dean. He's in Australia. He's been there for six months. Dean is an engineer. He is working for a big firm, and he has he has already visited a great a great number of different places in Australia. He has just bought an Australian car and has gone to Alice Springs, a small town in the center of Australia. He will soon visit Darwin. From there, he will fly to Perth. My brother. Has never been abroad before, so it's finding this trip very exciting.、Uh, lesson five: No wrong numbers. What does no wrong numbers mean? Mr. James Hart has garage in Silbury, and now he has just bought another garage in Pinkhurst. Pinkhurst is only five miles from Silbury, but Mrs. Hart cannot get a telephone for his new garage, so he has just bought twelve pigeons. Yesterday, a pigeon carried. The first message from Pinkhurst to Silbury. The bird covered the distance in three minutes. Up to now, Miss Scar has sent a great many requests for spare parts and other urgent messages from one garage to the other. In this way, he has begun his own private telephone service.、Mm, lesson six: Percy Buttons. Who is Percy Buttons? I've just moved to a house in Bridge Street. Yesterday, a banker knocked at my door. He asked me for a meal and a glass of beer. In return for this, the banker stole down his hat and sang songs. I gave him a meal. He ate the food and drank the beer. Then he put a piece of cheese in his pocket and went away. Later, a neighbor told me about it. Everybody knows it. Knows him. His name is Percy Buttons. He calls at every house in this street once a month. At Always asks for a meal and a glass of beer.、Mm, lesson seven. Too late. Did the detective save the diamonds? The play was late, and detectives were waiting at the airport all morning. They were expecting a valuable piece of diamond from South Africa. A few hours earlier, someone told the play that thieves would try to steal the diamonds. When the play arrived, some of the detectives were waiting inside the main building, while others were waiting on the air field. Two men took the parcel off the play and carried it into the customer's house. While two detectives were keeping guard at the door, two others opened the parcel. To their surprise, the precious parcel was full of stones and sand. Lesson eight. Two. Uh. Lesson eight. 
第八课 ，S N。第八课。The best and the worst. Oh, 最好的和最坏的 Why Jones Garden, the most beautiful one in the town. John Sanders has the most beautiful garden in our town. Nearly everybody enters for the garden competition each year, but John wins every time. Bill Fred's garden is larger than Joe's. Bill works harder than Joe and grows more flowers and vegetables. But John's garden. Is more interesting. He has made knee pads and has built a wooden bridge over a pool. I like gardens too, but I do not like hard work. Every year I enter for the garden competition too, and I win a little prize for the worst garden in the town. The bucket is the best and the worst. 好，差点忘了。好，第九课 ，Lesson Nine。第九课。Cold welcome. What does cold welcome refer to? On Wednesday evening, we went to the town hall. It was the last day of the year, and a large crowd of people had gathered under the town hall clock. It was strike twelve in twenty minutes' time. Fifteen minutes passed, and then at five to twelve, the clock stopped. The big minutes hand did not move. We waited and waited, but nothing happened. Suddenly, someone shouted, "It's two minutes past twelve. The clock has stopped." I looked at my watch. It was right. She was right. And he was right. The big min and the big clock refused to work out the new year. At that moment, everybody began to laugh and sing. I looked at my watch. It was true. The big minutes. The big clock refused to work on the new year. At that moment, everybody began to laugh and sing. Oh, lesson ten. Not for jazz. What happened to the clavichord? We have no musical instrument. It is called clavichord. It was made in Germany in 1681. Our clavichord is kept in the living room. It has belonged to our family for a long time. The instrument. Was bought by my grandfather many years ago. Recently, it was damaged by a visitor. She tried to play jazz on it. She struck the keys too hard, and the strings were broke. Two of the strings were broken. My father was shocked. Now we're not allowed to touch it. It is being repaired by a friend of my father's. Lesson eleven: One good turn deserves another. Who paid for Tony's dinner? I was having dinner at a restaurant when Tony still came in. Tony saw me, and、uh, Tony worked in a lawyer's office years ago, but he's now working at a bank. He gets good salary, but he always borrows money from his friends and never pays it back. Tony saw me and came and sat at the same table. Has never borrowed money from me. While he was eating, I asked him to lend me twenty pounds. To my surprise, he gave me the money immediately. I have. Never borrowed any money from you," Tony said. "So now you can pay for my dinner."、Uh, lesson twelve. Lesson twelve. Shark. Lesson Uh, 第十二课 ，Goodbye and good luck. Where is Captain Ellison going, and how? Our neighbor, Captain Charles Ellison, was set out, received from the postmaster tomorrow. We will meet him at er at the harbor early in the morning. He will be in his small boat, topsail. Top. He will be in his his boat, topsail. Topsail is a famous little boat. He has sailed across the Atlantic many times. Captain Ellison will set will set out at eight o'clock, so we will have plenty of time. We will see his boat and then we will say goodbye to him. He will be away for two months. We are very proud of him. 
he will have to, he will take part in important race uh important race across the Atlantic. Uh, lesson thirteen: The Greenwood Boys. Why will the prince have a difficult time? The Greenwood Boys have a, is a pop singer. They are visiting all parts of the country. Reason. At present, they are visiting all parts of the country. They will be arriving here tomorrow. They will be coming by train, and most of the young people in the town will be meeting them at the station. Tomorrow evening, they will be seen at the workers' club. The Greenwood boys will be staying for five days. During this time, they will give five performances. As usual, the police will have a difficult time. They will be trying to keep order. It is always the same on these occasions. Lesson fourteen: Do you speak English? Do the young men speak English? I had news. I had an amusing experience last year. After I had left the small village and the south of France, I drove on to Nuxtel. On the way, a young man waved to me. I stopped, and he asked me for a lift. As soon as he had got into the car, I said good morning to him, and he replied re replied in the same language. Apart from a few words, I do not know any French at all. Neither of us spoke during the journey. I had nearly reached the town when the young man suddenly said, very slowly, "Do you speak English?" As I soon learned, he was English himself.、Uh, lesson. Lesson fifteen. Good news. What was good news? The secretary told me. Then Mr. Hammersworth would see me. I felt very nervous when I into his office. He did not look up when I entered. After I had sat down, he he said that the business was very bad. He told me that the firm could not afford to pay such large salaries. Twenty people had already left. I knew that my turn had had come. Mr. Hammersworth, I said in a weak voice, "Don't interrupt," he said. Then he smiled and told me I would receive an extra thousand pounds a year.、Mm, lesson sixteen: A polite request. What was a polite request? If you park your car in the wrong place, a traffic policeman will soon find it. You will be very lucky if he lets you go without a ticket. However, this does not always happen. Traffic police are sometimes very polite during a holiday in Sweden. I found this note on my car. Sir, we welcome you to our city. This is a private. This is no parking area. You will enjoy your stay here if you pay attention to our screen size. This note is only a reminder. If you received a request like this, you cannot, you cannot fail to obey it.、Mm, lesson seventeen. Always young. Why does Aunt Jennifer tell anyone how old she is? My aunt Jennifer is an actress. She must be at least thirty-five years old. In in spite of this, she all she often appears on stage as a young girl. Jennifer will have to take part in a new play soon. This time, she will be a girl of seventeen. Of seventeen, in the play, she must appear in a bright red dress and a long black stockings. Last year, in another play, she had to wear short socks and a long and a bright orange-colored dress. If anyone ever asks her how old she is, she always answers, "Darling, it must be terrible to be grown up."、Uh, lesson eighteen: Always young. Ching, uh, 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 he often does this. What had happened to the writer's bag? After I had had lunch at a village pub, I looking, I looked for my bag. I had left it on my on the chair beside the door, and now it wasn't there. As I was looking for it, the landlord came in. "Did you have a good meal?" he asked. "Yes, thank you," I answered. "But I can't pay the bill. I haven't got my got my bag." The landlord smiled and immediately went out. In a few minutes, he returned with my bag. 
and gave it back to me. I'm very sorry, he said. My dog had taken it into the garden. He often does this. Oh, 第十第十八课十九课 Lesson nineteen sold out. When will the writer see the play? The play may begin at any moment, I said. It may have begun already. Susan answered. I hurried to the ticket office. May I have two tickets, please? I asked. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. We've sold out. The girl said. What a pity! Susan ex- exclaimed. Just then, a man hurried to the ticket office. Can I return these two tickets? He said. He asked. Certainly, the girl said. I returned to the ticket office at once. I went back to the ticket office at once. Could I have those two tickets, please? I asked. Certainly, the girl said. But they are for next Wednesday's performance. Do you still want them? I might as well have them. I said sadly.、Uh, lesson twenty. One man in the boat. One man in the boat. Why is fishing the writer's favorite sport? Fishing is my favorite sport. I often fish for hours without catching anything. But this does not worry me. Summer fishermen are unlucky. Instead of f- catching fish, they catch old boats and rubbish. I am even less lucky. I never catch anything, not even old boats. After having spent whole mornings on the river, I always go home with an empty bag. You must give up. You must give up fishing. My friends say, it's a waste of time. But they don't realize one important thing. I'm not really interested in fishing. I'm only interested in sitting in the boat and doing nothing at all.、Uh, lesson twenty-one: Mad or not? Mad or not? Why do people think the writer is mad? Um. Writer is mad. Near near port. Oh, airplanes are slowly driving me mad. I live near near port, and the passing plane can be heard night and day. The airport was built years ago, but for some reason, it not be used then. It not. It could not be used. The airport. The airport was built years ago, but for some reason, it could not be used. Used then. Last year, however, it came into use. Over a hundred people must be must been driving away from their homes, from their homes. Uh, lesson twenty-one: Mad or not? Why do people think the writer is mad? Airplanes are slowly driving me mad. I live near port. I live near. I live in near port, and a passing plane can be heard night and day. The airport was built years ago, but for some reason, it could not be used then. Last year, however, it came into use. Over a hundred people must have been ha- driven away from their homes by train, by noise. I'm one of the few people left. Sometimes I think this house will be knocked down by a passing plane. I have been offered a large sum of money to go away. I've been offered some a sum of money to go away. A large sum of money to go away. But I'm determined to stay here. Everybody says I must be mad, and they are probably right. On lesson twenty-two, a glass envelope. A glass envelope. 
Why? Why? How did Jean receive a letter from a stranger? My daughter Jean never dreamed of receiving a letter from a girl of her own age in Holland. Last year, we were traveling across the channel, and Jean put a piece of paper with her name and address on it into a bottle. She threw a bottle into the sea. She never thought of it again. But ten months later, she received a letter from a girl in Holland. However, uh, oh no, both girls write to each other regularly now. However, they have decided to use the post office. Letters will cost a little more, but they will certainly travel faster. Lesson 23. A new house. What was the new house? Special. I had a letter from my sister yesterday. She lives in Nigeria. In her letter, she said that she would come to England next year. If she comes, she will get a surprise. We were living in a beautiful new house in the country. Work on it because work on it before my sister left. The house was completed five months ago. In my letter, I told her that she could stay with us. The house has many large rooms and there is a lovely garden. This is a very modern house, so it looks strange to some people. It must be the only modern house in the district. Lesson 25. Lesson 24. It could be worse. Had the writer's money been stolen? I entered the manager at the hotel manager's office at once. No, no, no. I entered the hotel manager's office and sat down. I had just lost 50 pounds and I felt very upset. I left the money in my room, I said. But it's not there now. The manager was sympathetic, but he could do nothing. Everyone's losing money these days, he said. He started to complain about this wicked world, but was interrupted by knocking at the door. A girl came in and put an envelope on his desk. I found it contain it contain fifty pounds. I found this outside this gentleman's room, she said. Well, I said to the manager. There is still some honesty in this world. Lesson 25. Do English speak English? Why did the writer not under understand the border? I arrived in London at last. The railway station was bay, land, and dark. I did not know the way to my hotel, so I asked the porter. I not only spoke English carefully, but very I not only spoke English very carefully, but very clearly as well. The porter, however, could not understand me. I repeated my question several times, at last he understood. He answered me, but he spoke neither slowly nor clearly. I am a foreigner, I said. Then he spoke slowly, but I could not understand it. My teacher never spoke in English like that. The porter and I looked at each other and smelt. Then he said something, and I understood it. You will soon learn English. I wonder, in England, each person speaks a different language. The English understand each other, but I don't understand them. Do they speak English? Lesson 26. The Archiluke. The best art critics. Who is the best student? Student. Who is the student's best critics? Critic. I'm not a student, and I paint a lot of pictures. Many people pretend that they understand modern art. They always tell you what a picture is about. Of course, many pictures are not about anything. They are just pretty patterns. We like them in the same way that we like pretty curtain material. I think that young children often appreciate modern pictures that better than anyone else. Anyone else, they notice more. My sister is only seven, but she always tells me whether my picture are good or not. She came into my room yesterday. What are you doing? She asked. I'm hanging this picture on the wall. I, I answered. It's a new one. Do you like it? She looked at it critically for a moment. It's all right, she said, but isn't it upside down? I looked at it again. She was right. It was. Lesson 27. The Archichiko one night. What happened to the boys in the night? Late in the afternoon, the boys put up their tent in the middle of a field. As soon as this was out, they cooked meal. 
the cooked meal, over an open fire. They were all hungry and the food smelled good. After a wonderful meal, they told stories and sing songs by the campfire. But some time later it began to rain. The boys felt tired. Felt tired. So they put out the fire and crept into their tent. Their sleeping bags were warm and comfortable. So they all slept soundly. In the middle of the night, two boys woke up and began shouting. The tent was full of water. They were all leapt out of their sleeping bags and hurried outside. It was raining heavily, and they found that a stream had formed in the field. The stream wandered its way across the field, and then long right under their tent. Uh, lesson 28. Ashbuck, no parting. What is Jasper White's problem? Jasper White is one of those real people who believe in ancient myth. He has just bought a new house in the city, but ever since he moved in, he has had trouble with cars and their owners. When he returns home at night, he always finds that someone had parked car outside his gate. Jasper has. Uh, because of this, he has not been able to get his own car into his garage even once. Jasper had put up no parking signs outside his gate, but these have not had any effect. Now, he has put no stone over the gate. It is one. It is one of the ugly, ugliest faces I have ever seen. I asked him what it was, and he told me it was Medusa, the Gorgon. Jasper hopes that she will turn cards and their owners to stone, but none of them has been turned to stone yet. Lesson 29, the Archie Joke Taxi. Does Captain Forsyth think any trip is too dangerous? Captain Ben Forsyth has bought non Euro taxi and has begun a new service. The taxi is a small swing airplane called a pilot pilot's water. This wonderful plane can carry seven passengers. The most important the most surprising thing about it, however, is that it can land anywhere, on snow, water, or even on a plowed field. Captain Fawcett's first passenger was a doctor who flown from, from Birmingham to a lowland village in the Welsh mountains. Since then, Captain Fawcett has flown passengers to many on Europe places. Uh, on Europe places. Once, they let on, uh, on the floor of a block of flats, but on another occasion, and let in a desert car park. Captain Forsyth has just refused a strange request from a businessman. The man wanted to fly to Rock All, a lowland island in the Atlantic Ocean, but Captain Forsyth did not pick him because the trip was too dangerous. Uh, lesson 30 is such a good football or polo. What happened to the man in boat? The wheel is a small river that cuts across the park near my home. I like sitting by the wheel on fine afternoons. It was warm last Sunday, so I went and sat on the river bank as usual. Some children were playing games on the bank and there were some people there were some people rowing on the river. Suddenly one of the children kicked the ball very hard and it went towards a passing boat. Some people on the bank on the bank caught on to the man in the boat, but he did not hear them. The ball struck him so hard that he nearly fell into the water. I turned to look at the children, but there weren't any in sight. They were they had all run away. The man laughed when he realized what had happened. He caught up to the children and threw the ball back to the bank. Uh the Sashik Lesson 31. Success story. What was Frank's first job? Yesterday afternoon, Frank Hawkins was telling me about his experiences as a young man. But uh, before he retired, Frank was the head of a very large business company. But as a boy, he used to a small shop. It was his job to repair bicycles, and at that time, he used to work 14 hours a day. He saved, he saved money for years, and in, 19, in 1958, he bought a small workshop of his own. In his 20s, Frank used to make spare parts for airplanes. And that time, he had two helpers. In a few years, the small workshop had become a large factory which employed 728 people. Frank smiled when he remembered his hard early years and the long road to success. He was still smiling when the door opened and his wife came in. She wanted him to repair their grandson's vessel. Lesson 
32三十二个 Shopping made easy. Who was the thief? People are not so honest as they once were. The temptation to steal is greater than ever before, especially in large shops. A detective recently watched a well-dressed woman who always went into a large store on Monday mornings. One Monday, there were fewer people in the shop than usual when the woman came in, so it was easier for the detective to watch her. The woman first bought a few small articles. After a little time, she chose one of the most expensive dresses in the shop and headed to her sister, who wrapped it up for her as quickly as possible. Then the woman simply took the puzzle and walked. Walked out of the shop without paying. When she was arrested, the detective found out that the shop assistant was her daughter. The girl gave her mother a free dress once a week. Lesson thirty-three: Such a sample out of the darkness. Why was the girl in hospital? A week passed, nearly a week passed, before the girl was able to explain what had what had happened to her. One one afternoon, she set off from the coast in a small boat and was caught in a storm. Towards evening, a boat struck a rock, and the girl jumped into the sea. Then she swam to the shore. After spending the whole night in the water, during that time, she covered a distance of eight miles. The early next morning, she saw a light ahead. She knew she was near the shore because the light was high up on the cliffs. On arriving at the shore. On arriving at the shore, the girl struggled up the cliff toward the light she had seen. That was all she remembered. When she woke up a day later, she found herself in hospital. Lesson thirty-four, 三十四课 Quick work. How long had the police taken to find his bicycle? Dan Robinson has been worried all week. Last Tuesday, he received a letter from the local police. In the letter. He was asked asked to call at the station. Dan was wondered why he was wanted by the police, but he went to the station yesterday. Now he is not worried anymore. At the station, he was he was told by a smiling policeman that his bicycle had been found. Five days ago, the police said the police told him the bicycle was picked up in a small village 400 miles away. It is being it is now being sent to his home by train. Dan was most surprised when he heard the news. He was amused too, because he never expected the bicycle to be found. It was stolen 20 years ago when he was a boy of 15. Lesson 35, Sancho. Stop thief. How did Roy stop the thieves? Roy Jordan used to drive a taxi a short while ago. However, he became a bus driver and he has not has not regretted it. He is finding his new work far more exciting. When he was driving along, driving along Gadford Street recently, he saw two thieves rush out of a shop and run towards a wedding car. One of them was carrying a bag full of money. Roy acted quickly and drove the bus straight at the thieves. The one with the money got such a fright that sh- that he dropped the bag, and the thieves were trying to get over in their car. Over in their car, Roy drove his bus into the back of it. While the thief's car was moving away, Roy stopped his bus and telephoned the police. The thief's car was badly damaged and easy to recognize. Shortly afterwards, the car, the police stopped the car, and both men were arrested. Uh, Third lesson, thirty-six, essentially across the channel. What is Debbie going to try to do? Debbie Hart is going to swim, swims across the English Channel tomorrow. She is going to set off from French coast at five o'clock in the morning. Debbie is only eleven years old, and she hopes to set up new world record. She is a strong swimmer, and many people pre- feel that. She is sure to succeed. Debbie's father will set out with her in a in a boat, in a small boat. Mr. Hart has trained his daughter for years. Tomorrow, he will be anxiously watching. 
he will be watching her anxiously as she swims the long distance to England. Debbie intends to take short rests for every two hours. She will have something to eat, something to drink, but she will not eat any solid food. Most of Debbie's school friends will be waiting for her on the English coast. Among them will be Debbie's mother, who swims the channel herself when she was a girl. Lesson 37 is actually Chico. Lesson 37. The Olympic Games. When was the last time this country hosted the Olympic Games? The Olympic Games will be held in our country in four years' time. As a great number, a great many people will be visiting the country. The government will be building new hotels, a main stadium, and a Olympic standard swimming pool. They will be. They will also be building new roads and a special railway line. The game will be. Will. The game will just. Will be heard just outside the capital. But the whole area will be called Olympic City. Workers will have completed the new roads by the end of this year. By the end of next year, they will have finished work on the new stadium. The fantastic modern building has been designed by Kurt Gunner. Everybody will be watching anxiously as the new buildings go up. We are, we are all excited and are looking forward to the Olympic Games because they have never been heard before in this country. Uh, lesson 38, Disaster Parker, everything except the weather. Why did, why did Harrison sold his house so quickly. My old friend Harrison had lived in the Mater Mediterranean for many years before he returned to England. He had always he had often dreamed of re retiring in England and he had planned to settle down in the country. He had no sooner returned than he bought a house and went to live there. Almost immediately he began to complain about the weather, for even though it was still summer, it rained continually and was often bitterly cold. After so many years of sunshine, Harrison got shocked. He acted as if he had never lived in England before. In the end, it was more than he could bear. He had hardly had time to settle down when he sold the house and left the country. The dream he had had for so many years ended there. Harrison had, th had thought of everything except the weather. Uh, lesson 39, 39. Am I all right? Why Mr. Gilbert telephoned Dr. Millington? Well, John Gilbert was in hospital. He asked his doctor to tell him whether his operation had been successful. But the doctor refused to do so. The following day, the patient, the patient asked for a bedside telephone. When he was alone, he answered he telephoned the hotel exchange and asked for Dr. Millington. When the doctor answered the phone, Mr. Gilbert said that they that he was inquiring about a certain patient, a certain patient, a uh, Mr. John Gilbert. He asked if Mr. Gilbert's operation had been successful, and the doctor told him that it had been. He then asked when Mr. Gilbert would allow to go home, and the doctor told him that he would have to stay in hospital for another two weeks. Then the then Dr. Millington asked the coroner if he was a relative of the patient. No, the patient answers, I am Mr. John Gilbert. I am Mr. John Gilbert. Lesson 40, 19th时刻. Lesson 40. Food and talk. One the was Mrs. Rumble a good companion at dinner? Last week at a dinner party, the hostess asked me to sit next to Mrs. Rumble. Mrs. Rumble was a big, unsmelling lady in a black, in a tight black dress. She did not even look up when I took my seat beside her. Her eyes was fixed on her plate, and in a short time, she was busy eating. I tried to make conversation. A new play is coming to the globe soon, I said. Will you be seeing it? No, she answered. She answered. Will you be spending your holidays abroad this year? 
I asked. No, she answered. Will you be staying in England? I asked. No, she answered. In this fire. I asked her whether she was enjoying her dinner. Young man, she answered. If you eat more, I talk less. We would both enjoy our dinner. Uh, lesson 41. Do you call that a hand? And what kind of shopping does the writer enjoy, do you think? Do you call that a hand? I said to my wife. You needn't be so rude about it, my wife answered when, as she looked at herself in the mirror. I sat down on one of those mountain chairs with holes in it and waited. We had been in the head shop for half an hour, and my wife was still in the in front of the mirror. We must it buy things we don't need. I remarked it suddenly. I regretted saying it almost at once. You needn't have said that, my wife said. My wife answered. I needn't remind you of that ter terrible tie you bought yesterday. I find it, I find it beautiful, I said. A man can never have too many ties, and a woman can't have too many hands, she answered. Ten minutes later, we walked out of the shop together. My, and my wife was wearing a hand that looks like a lighthouse. Uh, lesson 42, this shark, not very musical. What happened when the stick charmer? What happened when the stick charmer began to play jazz? As we had had a long walk through one of the markets of Old Delhi, we stopped at a park. A stop, we stopped and at the squire to have a rest. After a time, we noticed a stick, we noticed a stick, a stick charmer with two large baskets and the other side of the squire. So we went to have a look at it. As soon as he saw us, he picked up a long pipe which was covered with coins and opened one of the baskets. When he began to play a tune, we had our first glimpse of the snake. It rose out of the snake and began to follow the mov movements of the pipe. We were very much we were very much surprised when the stick charmer suddenly began to play jazz at modern at modern pop songs. The snake, however, continued to dance slowly. Dance slowly. Dance slowly. It it, obvi it obviously could not tell the difference differences between Indian music and jazz. Um, lesson thirty think I should Lesson 40, 43, Mr. Sanko, over the South Pole. How was the play able to clear the mountains? Clear the mountains. In 1939, after three years after his fight over the North Pole, the American explorer Arnie Bird success successfully flown over the South Pole for the first time. Though at first, Bird and his men were able to take a great number of great number of photographs of the mountains that lay below. They soon ran into serious trouble. At one point, it seemed certain that their play would crash. It could only get over the mountains if the play if it, ro it rose to 10,000 feet. Bird at once ordered his men to throw out to have to have full sex. The play was then able to rise and it cleared the mountains by 400 feet. Bird now knew that he would able to he would be able to reach the South Pole. That was th three miles. 300 miles away, for there were no more mountains in sight. The aircraft was able to fly over the endless white plains without difficulty. Uh, lesson 40, 44, through the forest. 
How did Mrs. Sterling get her bag back? Mr. Anston, Mr. and Mrs. Ann Sterling. He not thought of, he not thought of the risk she was carrying. She was, she was, she was carrying. When she ran through the forest after two men. Oh, okay. Mr. and Mrs. Ann Sterling did, did not think of the risk she was taking when she ran through the forest after two men. They had rushed up to her while she was having a picnic at the edge of a forest with her children and tried to steal her head back in the struggle. The strap broke and with her with the bag in their possession. Both men began running, Start, started running through the trees. Mrs. Sterling, Mrs. Sterling got so, so angry that she ran after them. She was so, she was soon out of breath, but she continued to run. When she caught up with them, she saw that they had sat down and were going through the contents, the contents of the bag. So she ran straight at them. The men got such a fright that they dropped the bag and ran away. The strap needs needs many, said Mrs. Sterling after. But they did not steal it. But they did not steal anything. Uh -huh. Lesson forty-five. This is a clear conscience. How did Sam get his money back? The whole village soon learned that a large sum of money had been lost. Sam Baden, the local poacher, had lost his wallet while taking his savings to the post office. Sam was sure that the wallet must have been found by one of the villagers, but it was not returned to him. Three months later, and then one morning, Sam found his wallet outside his front door. It had been wrapped up in a newspaper, and it contained half the money he had lost, together with a note which said, A, th a thief, yes, but only 50% a thief. Two months later, some more money was sent to Sam with another note. Owning 25% now, and own 35% a thief now. In time, all Sam's money was paid back in this way. The last note said, I am 100% honest now. I have a 100% honest now. Uh, lesson 46, 46. It's expensive and uncomfortable. What? What did the man in the story do? When the play from London arrived at Sydney Airport, workers began to unload a number of wooden boxes which contained clothing. No one, no one could account for the fact that one of the boxes was extremely heavy. It suddenly occurred to one of the workers open up the box. He astonished he was he was he was astonished astonished and he was found a man was lying in the box on top of a pile of woolen goods he was so surprised at being discovered that he did not even try to run away after he was arrested he admitted that he admitted hiding in the box before the play left London. He had he had, had a long and uncomfortable trip. He the man had had, had a long and uncomfortable trip. For he had been confined to the wooden box for over eighteen hours. The man was wanted to pay 
3,500 pounds for the cost of the trip. The normal price of our ticket is 2,000 pounds. 好，第三、第四十，这应该是四十六。Lesson forty-seven， 第四十七个。A Thursday ghost. What? What evidence is there of a ghost? A public park, which was, which was recently bought by Ian Thompson, is up for sale. Mr. Thompson is going to sell it because it is haunted. He, he told me that he. He could not sleep one night because he heard a strange noise coming from the bar. The next morning, he found that the doors had been blocked by chairs, and the furniture had been moved. Though Mr. Thompson had turned the lights off before he went to bed, they were all they were they were on in the morning. He also said that. He had found five empty whiskey bottles, bottles, that of which the ghost must have drunk the night before. When I suggested that some visitors must have come, come in, came in must have been must get must have came in for a free drink. Thompson shook his head. The villager. Had told him that they were not to set the pub, even if he sent he sent it away. Lesson Sparkle, Lesson Forty Eight. Do you want to tell me something? Why did the writer become very worried? Dentists always ask questions when it is. It is impossible for you to answer. My dentist has just pulled out one of my tooth. My teeth had had told me to rest for a while. I tried to say something, but my mouth was full of cotton wool. He knew I collected match boxes and asked had asked me whether my collection was growing. He then asked how my brother was and whether I liked my new job in London. In order to, in answer to these questions, I n- I either nodded or made strange noises. Meanwhile, my town was trying to was busy, was trying to. My town was busy searching out the hole where the tooth had been. Suddenly, I felt very worried. When the dentist at last removed the cotton wool from my mouth, I was able to tell him that. He had pulled out the wrong tooth. 语音下的几课，从四十九课开始第三单元。In lesson forty-nine, the end of a dream. How did the dream end? Tired of sleeping on the floor, a young man in Tehran set up for years to buy a real bed. For the first time in his life, he became the proud owner. Of a bed which had springs and a mattress, because the weather was very hot, he carried it, the bed onto his roof, the roof of his house. He slept very well for the first two nights, but on the third night, a storm blew up. A gust of wind swept the bed off the roof and sent it, sent it. Crash into the courtyard below. The young man did not wake up until the bed had struck the ground. Although the bed was smashed to pieces, the man was miraculously unhurt. When he woke up, he was still on the mattress. He was still on the mattress. Glancing at the bed of metal and wood and metal that lay around them, around him, the man suddenly picked picked up the mattress and carried it into his house. After he had put it on the floor, he properly went to sleep again. 嗯，第五十课 ，Lesson Fifty， 
Lesson, lesson fifty. 五十 Taking for a ride. Why did the writer not get off the bus at Woodford Green? I love traveling in country, but I don't like losing my way. I went on, I went on an excursion recently, but my trip took me longer than I expected. I'm going to Woodford Green, I said to the conductor as I got on the bus. But I don't know where it is. I'll tell you where to get off," answered the conduct. Answered the conductor. I sat in the front of the bus to get a good view of the countryside. After some time, the bus stopped. Looking around, I know I realized with a shock that I was the only passenger. Passenger left on the bus. You have to get off here," the conductor said. "This is as far as we go. Is this cab for Green?" I asked. "Oh dear," said the conductor suddenly. "I forgot to get a booty off." "It doesn't matter," I said. "I'll get off here."、Uh, "We are going back now," said the conductor. "Well, in that case, I prefer to stay on the bus." I answered. 好，第五十一课 ，Lesson Fifty One, Reward for Virtue. What did, why did, his doubt not work? My friend, my friend, Hugh, has always been fat, but things got so bad recently that he decided to go on a diet. He began his diet a week ago. First of all, he wrote out a long list of a long list a long list of all the things which were forbidden. The list included most of the things he loves: butter, potatoes, rice, beer, milk, chocolate, and sweets. Uh, yesterday, I paid him a visit. I rang the bell. I rang the bell, and was not surprised to see that he was was still as fat as ever. Still as fat as ever. He led me into his room and hurriedly hid a large puzzle under his desk. It was obviously that he was very embarrassed. When I Last name. What he was doing? He smiled guiltily and put the puzzle on the desk. He explained that his diet was so strict, strict that he had to reward himself accordingly. Accordingly, he sh- showed me. Then he showed me the contents of the puzzle. It contained five large bars of. Five large bars of chocolate and three bags, the three bags of sweets. Ah, 五十二课 lesson fifty two. What? A pretty car, a pretty carpet. What is the writer's carpet made of? We have just moved into a new house, and I have been, I have been working hard all morning. I have been trying to get my new room in order. This has not, this has not been easy, because I own over a thousand books. To make matters worse, the house, the room is rather small, so I have temporarily, temporarily put my books on the floor. At the moment, they covered every inch of floor space. Yet I 
actually have to work on it. Work on, work on them to get in or out of the room. A short while ago, my sister helped me to carry one of my old bookcases up the stairs. She came into my room and got big surprised when she saw those books on the floor. This is the, this is the prettiest carpet I have ever seen, she said. She gazed at it. She gazed at it for some time, then ended. You don't need bookcase at all. You can sit sit here in your spare time to read the carpet. 好，背诵的最后一个是五十三课 ，Lesson Fifty Three。第五十三课，背诵五十三课。Lesson Hot Snake. What caused the fire? At last, Fairman pulled out have pulled out a big forest fair in California. Since then, they have. They have been trying to find out how the fire began. Forest fire was often caused by broken glass or by cigarette cigarette ends, which people carelessly threw away. Yesterday, the firemen examined the ground carefully, but were not able to find any broken glass. They were also quite sure that a cigarette end do not start start the fire.、Uh, this morning, a fireman accidentally discovered the cause. The cause discovered the cause. He noticed. He noticed. He noticed. The remains of a snake, which was, which was wound around a electric wires of a sixteen thousand volt power line. In this way, he was able to, he was able to solve the mystery. The explanation was simple but very unusual. A bird had snaked up the snake from the ground, and then dropped it onto the wires. The snake then wandered itself round the wires. When it did so, when it did so, when it did so, it sent sparks under to the ground, under to the ground, and these immediately start a fire. 好，今天的背诵就到这里，我们下期见。好，拜拜。